Mwamba has been a big boost in quality through the midfield. He breaks up tackles and willing to join in the attack. Up front, the back three, they'll have to be very brave and deal with one-on-one -on -one moments against Atlanta United's attack. Lapalainen and Brokeyard. In this venue, Yorgos Yakamakis poised in his chase for the golden boot in the venue where they always ram home the golden spike just before. He said we didn't need to give instructions about that pass needs to be better first touch. Rodriguez's first touch is a nice one all the way across the shoulder. It's going to go across the line, is it? Flag is waved on the far side, and Atlanta has scored. So far this season, as they come in one side, go out the other, and Lojanice, as he puts the ball in, it is Silva, does he drift into an offside position? That is tight. The ball certainly looks to have crossed the line, but as Lojanice just puts it into an area, it's an easy ball to whip in, but puts it right into the stride of Silva, who makes no mistake. Just gives the finishing touch. Sirwa gets a hand on it, he's there. At the time, to get Atlanta back in the game. Oh, Silva's combined with Wiley, and they're roaring forward again now. It's Wiley, it's Silva, he could get another one. He's past Shawa for a two on the line. It's turned in anyway. Almada, two in two minutes. And Almada taking Atlanta all the way to the postseason potentially tonight. Throughout the stadium, and doesn't this team know how to play to that enthusiasm and energy? Watch this first touch from Silverlo. Just eliminates Waterman completely. It's Corbo, he goes past, and then he has the whereabouts. There's that touch to go past Corbo. Then Sirwa, then takes a touch, picks up his head. That's one of the easiest finishes for Amada in the end. And Silva just puts it right into his path, right on a plate. He says, there you go. Top player in the league. Going and get a goal, you can't look up and see, right, that player is going to go and get us a goal on the break. They don't have that. And so you lose hope. Well, here's Lapalainen. He's kept it in, and he's pulled it back, and Hamdi's hit it. Oh, and he's hit it beautifully into the bottom corner. And he's half the deficit with one sweet strike of his left boot. 2-1. You thought all of a sudden this game was going to break open, but Montreal found the way back in. Lapalainen does so well to cut this ball back. Lenny United, they don't, they don't get their body position right defensively. As Hamdi just watched him join in. As he comes in, he's just waiting to see where that ball is going to come to. Steps onto it, controls it so nicely. Picks out his spot, gets over top of it. Controls it right into the side netting. Guzan has no chance of this. It all comes lap line and the ability to cut the ball back. How much he knew that Hamdi would be there. With his first MLS goal of the season, halving the deficit and giving us a second half, Ross, which is really well set up now. Really is. And Montreal finding their way back. Oh, there's a mistake. Akumakis, he can make it three. He does. It's a gift. Yakumakis. And it's not a deliberate play then off of Corbeau, but it's judged that Silva doesn't get a touch, so it's looking more like a pass back from Corbeau into the path of Yakumakis. And with that being a pass back from Corbeau, the last touch from Corbeau, yeah, Silva doesn't touch it, so it's null and void that Yakumakis is in an offside position. And he takes his finish so well, just scooping it. it it's so important here whether Silva gets a touch or not. And if Silva doesn't get a touch, it's a goal. Picked up by Hamdi. This is Waterman. Wide to the right. Rogiard across. Oh, Force trying to get there. Oh, he's hit the post. You go back, look at this ball from Rogiard. Just gets it out of feet. Good first touch, second touch to prepare. No four, he's having to stretch a little bit, but he rises so well. It's nicely whipped, it's at a good height. No four, he's just peeling off, he's had to stretch a little bit. 
Still heads it down. He gets the better of Miles Robinson, but he doesn't get the better of Brad Guzan's post. Lennon, no foul, says the referee, and the break on. And Almada looking right through the middle on. Waterman with a challenge. He's already on a yellow card. Referee's going to the back pocket. And it's a red. And Montreal are down to 10. I don't think this is a denial of an obvious goal scoring opportunity. As that touch goes to the side because of the direction to which TRA is going. Well, if, given it's it's a straight, other. if it's a straight red, of course, it's reviewable. So. And we've got 90 seconds left, plus stoppage time. What a ball from Wolf. Mascara. Almada is outside him. And he's got a man in the back. He's gone back for Mascara. It's deflected and in. And it's a fourth for Atlanta. is just zipping along right into the feet of Mascara. Now you can drive at the defense, and Almada does just that, just cuts it back. And there's all kinds of time for Mascara to step onto it. it. Does take a bit of a deflection, but I don't think it was going to matter. That ball was going to find the back of the net to make it four. As Atlanta United just running rampant. Mascara, he's got options. He picks the right one just to drag Montreal out a little bit more. No matter squaring it back, the Mascara gets on the score sheet. Four goals for the five stripes, and they're heading to the playoffs.